Hey everyone, just a quick word before we get started on this beer review. If you're interested in purchasing any of these beers that you see on my channel, stick around to the end of the video and I will tell you where you can purchase them at online. Now isn't that lovely? Have beer shipped right to your home and don't have to go anywhere. All right, enjoy the video. Cheers to that. Welcome, my friends. Thanks so much for stopping by once again as we sample some more great tasting international beer with Dr. Dave. Oh, yes, indeed. And now for our sampling pleasures and tasting delights today, we have a special treat all the way from Germany. This is from the Konig Barara, located in, I believe it's pronounced Konig, Germany. Yeah, I could be wrong. I don't know. But it checks in at 4.9% alcohol by volume. And this is a 500 milliliter can that's best before June of 2023. So we got about three months to go on this. And I got some special glassware, which I'm going to show you in just a moment as soon as I get her open. Oh, man, this is a beautiful glassware that I got many, many years ago from Halftime Brewery out of New York. Now, uh-oh, I didn't see that. It's leaking a little bit. Um, that's why I always uh, put these beers off to the side because you never know when it's going to rise up. You just, you don't know. You don't know what a beer has been through before it got to you. So I always keep some paper towels and napkins in here as well. Let's just go ahead and clean it up. But yeah, I got that beautiful glass at uh, Halftime Glass. We're out of New York. And I always leave links in the description box, which I say on my intro. So if you're interested in some beautiful glassware, uh, go ahead and head over there to Halftime Brewery. Now, I don't get any <laughs> any uh, money. You know, I'm not the uh, affiliate program with them. So, yeah, it's just on your own. But this is a 500 milliliter glass. So theoretically, it should all fit in there. But, of course, we're going to have some foam. So it's not going to fit in there. And we got uh, just a little bit left in the can. We'll keep it there. Beautiful, clear, golden color with a nice, bright bit of foam. Some lively carbonation. I love these swirls on the glass here. Very classy. Let's go ahead and see what kind of aroma we can pick up. Mmm, ready and spicy. Man, I don't know what kind of hops are in here. Could be some Saz hops, could be some Hallertau Blanc. I don't know. But we're going to thank the brewers there in Germany for all the hard work they do to bring this beer stateside. Yeah, cheers to them and cheers to you at home for watching. Oh, now that's good. We got a little bit left in the can. Let's go ahead and put her in here. I tell you what, those Germans like their beer, don't they? Because you go to the bar and this is what they bring you. <laughs> that's a lot of beer, baby. Woo that's a lot of beer. But the good thing about this beer is only 4.9% alcohol, so it's not going to put you over the top. It's a very light body beer with light carbonation, although it is flowing up uh, rather freely from the bottom. It's lightly carbonated. It's got some nice malts in there, but uh, on the finish, got a little bit of a hop bite, a little bit of spiciness to it. It's just a perfect German-style pilsner. Prost! It's going on. Clean, crisp, and refreshing. I mean, this is everything that you want in a Pilsner. I don't know what else you would expect from a Pilsner. Right there it is. Conic Pilsner out of Germany. 500 milliliter can. Yeah, that'll knock your socks off. No doubt. No doubt. Now, for those of you uh, in America watching, you may not know 500 milliliters is a bit over 16 ounces. So there you have. All right, I tell you what, I served this practically right out of the refrigerator, and it is refreshing. I'm just telling you, this is a great beer, and the glassware makes it all the better, right? No doubt about it. Yeah, you got to have proper glassware for the proper beer. You wouldn't want to serve this beer in a pint glass, because I saw somebody on YouTube. Oh, what was that? You know, I can't recall what channel that was. 
but they they were pouring a uh, Kolsch beer into a pint glass. It, it's not going to work out. You need a small diameter on your glass so you get that nice foam to build up. Yeah, because that beer was flat as a pancake when they were done. That 16 ounce uh, glass and the and uh, the beer was 11.2 ounces because it's from Germany. And it just didn't look appetizing at all. Yeah, you got to have the proper glassware. Man, this beer is really good. I just can't say enough good things about this beer. I got to hold on to it with two hands because this is it's a monster glassware. Isn't it? Look at it. But like I said, um, go to halftime a beverage and uh, see what kind of glassware they have now. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if they sell glassware anymore, but I think that you can still buy them in gift sets. No doubt about it. It used to be able to buy one. Of a guy, because I got two of these. I got two of this, the Vina Stefaner, um, the Yaver. Yeah, I got a, a variety of glassware, but I don't know if they, I don't think they sell them singles anymore. They sell them in sets. All right, my friends, life is short. You got to be happy, man. And don't mix this beer with hot dogs and hamburgers and barbecue. Just drink it for what it is and enjoy. That's the thing you got to do because life is short. You got to be happy. And to that end, until we meet next time, here's wishing all of you the very best of goodbyes. And as always, prost. Okay, everyone. As promised, Dr. Dave's going to tell you where he buys his beers and where you can buy them also. First on the list is RivalryBrews.com. Now, don't worry. I'm going to put the links in the description box for you. Rivalry Brews is a relatively new mail order place. It's based right here in Ohio in Medina, and they are fantastic. I tell you what, when they first started, I got free shipping on all the beers. Now, I think they it, it charged me $2.00. $2 for 12 beers. That's fantastic. Now, as far as I know, they ship to the lower 48, but you might want to check the website on that. I can't be 100% sure, but the shipping is fast. The turnaround is fast, and if anything's wrong, they will fix it right away. I only had one issue with them, and they refunded half my purchase order, which I thought was more than fair, more than fair. So anyway, uh, by the way, disclaimer, I don't get any money on any of this. I'm not affiliated with any of these beer companies. They don't know I'm doing this. I'm just telling you where to buy the beer. Now, one day I may be affiliated, and if I am at that point, I'll certainly let you know. So Rivalry Brews, located right here in Ohio. They specialize in Ohio beers, uh, beers from Pennsylvania and Indiana. So if you want some good Ohio craft beer, that's a good place to start. The second one on my list, oh, I love this place. It's called Halftime Beer. Halftime Beer has two locations in New York State, Poughkeepsie, and I believe it's pronounced Mamoronic. Mamoronic. Yeah, don't quote me on that pronunciation. I tried my best. Yeah, anyway. They have more beer online than you could possibly look at in a day. I'm telling you, they have beer everywhere on that website. And all you have to do is go on there, make your selection, and have it shipped. Now, they do have gift boxes, which come with a really nice cooler. Yeah, and uh, you can't beat it. It's $5 shipping on those uh, special orders. Now, on the other beers, the shipping can get a little bit pricey, but I've never had an order for more than $20 shipping, which I think is really good for 12 bottles of beer. Now, if you get cans, it's less cost because it, less, it weighs less, uh, and that's what costs the money is the weight and the size of the box. So, yeah, check them out. Now, I belong to two of their uh, what's known as Beer of the Month Club. I'm in their German Beer of the Month Club, so I get 12 bottles from six different breweries, two of each, once a month. And there's a lot of beers in there that I've never heard of from Germany. I thought I had them all, not even close. And then I have the Around the World Beer Club, which is exactly what it sounds like. It's beers from all over the world. So far, I only got one beer that I didn't really like. Uh, you know, it happens. It happens. And, uh, you know, you take your chances on that. But uh, 
I got some beer from South Korea, of all places, South Korea. I thought it was really, really good. Now, last on the list, but not least, and I didn't put these in any particular order, it's the best damn beer shop. Now, they're out of San Diego, and they have a killer selection, I'm telling you. Matter of fact, talking about all this beer, I'm going to have to have one here. Mm. That's just a regular run-of-the-mill Pilsner, German style, but it hits the spot on a day like this. Anyway, best damn beer shop. Woo! Now, their shipping, they require you to uh, choose in lots of six. So you can get six, 12, 18, 24 is the maximum. And uh, their shipping is reasonable considering I'm on the East Coast and they're on the West Coast. Yeah, the shipping is generally about $19 for a 12 bottle selection, which I don't think is a lot. $19? No, I don't think that's a lot. Now, the more beer you buy, the less money it's going to cost. That's just a fact of economics. So if you want to buy six beers, it's going to cost more to ship it than the 12. Hey, I, I don't make the rules, man. Just buy more beer. You save more money on shipping. What can I tell you? Yeah, but they're a great place. And uh, so all, all three of those places, Rivalry Brews uh, for Ohio beers. And then you have the uh, Halftime Beverage, which is in New York. They have a selection on everything. And same thing with Best Damn Beer Shop. Now, if you want some West Coast beers that you can't find in your town, that's the place to buy them at. Last but not least, people always ask me, what is that on your beer glass? Well, I bought it at Amazon, Amazon Amazon.com. It's called a Vacuvin, Vacuvin. And if I'm not mistaken, it's from uh, Sweden, if I'm not mistaken. And the inside of it is lined with special material. So what you do is you put this in the freezer, you let it sit overnight, and then you put your beverage in here. And it will maintain that beverage at around 38 degrees, which is really cold for a beer. But I like my Pilsner's cold. Now, if you already have a beer that warmed up, put it in here and it'll bring it to the proper temperature, no doubt. And I said last, but I I was mistaken. This is the last thing I want to talk about. Uh, Dr. Dave's beer glasses. Now, I did sell these a number of years ago when I had my other beer channel. and. This is a new design, though. This is a different design. Now, I could sell these if there's enough interest in them, but I have to order them uh, about 144 at a time. So I don't want to order them unless there's some real interest in them. Now, it's difficult to see on here, but it says Dr. Dave's cheap-ass beer reviews. Yeah, uh, it's not really going to come out that well there on the camera, but I would sell these uh, at cost. Now, I'm not trying to make any money on them. I think it cost me $14.98 to, uh, to have those made. So I would sell them at the same price. Now, I don't know if the price could have gone up because I did buy those a few years back. So, But I would sell them at cost if anybody's interested. But uh, like I said, I don't get any money off these links. There's no affiliate, uh, affiliate links here. I'm not making any money. I just wanted to let everybody know where I buy my beer so you could buy it too. Oh, and you know, I almost forgot. The Amazing Clubs Beer of the Month Club. Amazing Clubs. I'll put all the links in the description box. Knock yourself out. Hey, thanks for watching, okay? And Dr. Dave says cheers to that.